to put another bullshit SJW argument to rest. I've previously destroyed cultural appropriation a thousand times before, but here's a thousand and one. So, Ghost in the Shell. Ooh, the character of, uh, what is it, Makoto Kusanagi or something, whatever, I always just remember her as being the major in the two or three episodes of just the anime I watched. Um, because Scarlett Johansson's portraying that character, oh, we have such a huge problem. Well, first of all, the character's a robot. A robot with purple hair and blue eyes. Doesn't look Asian at all. Only the name of the robot <clears throat> and the location of the story, Japan, would lend any credence to the fact that this should be played by an Asian actress. Keep in mind, this is an idealized robot with non-Asian features. Okay? There are Asian actors in the movie, but keep in mind, we're only going to throw a fit about the lead role. Okay, it was being played by a big budget uh, actress for the purposes of marketing, okay, marketing the movie. Now, here's the really important thing to understand far beyond the nonsense about this specific character, all right? <clears throat> Roughly 5.1% of the U.S. population is Asian. That's around 1 in 20. When we're talking about Asian women it's even more significantly less, all right? <clears throat> now, if you expect to see a token Asian everywhere, you're not going to, all right? Because that Asian demographic is not diffused amongst the entire American uh, populace. They're actually very concentrated in specific places like uh, South California, New York, um, you don't really see that many Asian people all over the place, because there isn't that many. So expecting to see them everywhere you look in film is already unreasonable from the viewpoint of somebody who's obsessed with racial representation, which is an already unhealthy and racist behavior. If you're incapable of empathizing with a character that doesn't share your race, you're a racist. Okay, everybody gets to now consider me a black person. That's right, this guy currently blinding you is a black person because I really like the character of C.J. Johnson in San Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's one of my all-time favorite games. I always play an Argonian in uh, Elder Scrolls games, which means I am now a lizardkin, and you will now consider my racial demographic as a black lizard. See the problem here yet? Now, the next thing is, and this is the really important bit, is in Korea, in Hong Kong, in China, in India, in Japan, there are gigantic film markets full of every flavor of every kind of Asian person and every amount of uh, Asian people on screen that you could possibly fucking want. What you want is Asian Americans in English-speaking roles to be overrepresented, okay? Because there's not, there's plenty of really popular, really well-paid Asian actors of both genders in this country, all right? Maybe they're not 5% of all actors, but we're dealing with not only a very low demographic population, but also... Excuse me, would you like to exclusively focus your show on on only maximally possible 5% market share? No, you wouldn't. That's ridiculous. Now, does that mean I give a shit? No. Would I care if I saw a boatload more Asians on screen? No. Because I'm not a racist and I don't fucking care about racial representation. It's utterly meaningless to film. Period. Okay? Story and character arcs are what matter. Races don't. Now, if you want to see Asian actors, again, if you are willing to go through the trouble of reading some fucking subtitles, you lazy piece of shit, you could have all the Asian actors of any Asian variety you could possibly fucking want. But you're too lazy, too selfish, and too racist to do that. Because you don't even actually care. 
or else you would go be supporting those people over there. But no, you're actually nationally biased while being racially biased. So, you know, who's the fucking uh, ethno-nationalist uh, now, you piece of fucking shit? Shut the fuck up, grow the fuck up, stop being racist, and learn to empathize with other genders, sexualities, uh, races, all that shit. I do it easily, every day. It's called being an egalitarian who doesn't give a shit, who cares about what's in service to the story than what's in service to my selfish fucking ego. Thanks for watching.